The November Club and Culture Creative have come together to run a project which marks the Berwick 900's celebrations. We've been working with lots of different communities. There's been guides, there's been about five school groups, there's other community groups, there's a housing association, and now we're hoping to open it up to the whole of Berwick general public so that we've got the shop now and we can involve just everybody that's not necessarily in a small group to get involved and uh, be part of the project going forward. We're hoping to pick up personal, individual and unique stories from people that live and work in Berwick and the surrounding area and embed those onto this special unique section of rope. Today we're running an open workshop where we're physically building the rope. That involves me binding objects and drawings and items that people have brought along. A school brought themselves and their wonderful drawings. These have been physically with me and the, the teachers and the children have been bound onto the rope and uh, sections of it have been taking form today. To you, just past the net, is that a nest? We need to have gathered enough stories, enough information, enough participation onto the rope for it to be a viable whole project. So we're working up towards the four day event to mark the finale of the Barrack 900 celebrations on the 22nd to the 25th of October and when the event starts we will run 900 metres of rope around the town through the streets, down the drain, up the other side of the road, across the roofs. It's an extremely challenging project. Tonight we've had five schools and guides and brownies involved in a performance of singing a song called All Hands to the Rope, which we had commissioned by a composer called Katie Doherty. For the year three and four children have been learning the rope song to be here as part of a, a bigger group and to sing at the town hall is really exciting. It was a good song. The second time I heard it, you started to pick up the sort of bounce it had. What's been different about this project is it went across all the year groups and all the different departments and everyone's had their little part to play in this. I think any um, outside agency that comes and offers something new and different is really exciting to the children and gives them more than we can just do day to day in school. So after the song we then um, had a dramatisation of uh, a youth manifesto that we've written with some, a group of young people from the senior section of guiding. We ask the council to appoint a young person's community worker to work alongside us so that we can make a youth council for the town. Here, here. Well, this manifesto got handed over to the deputy mayor and he in turn handed over a large key to the young people of Berwick for the weekend. I present you with the key of Berwick. It lets people know what's going on in Berwick. We, we do need to sell Berwick to people that's never been here before. I think lots of the ideas that the children had um, today were really good ones and um, the children are the future of Berwick so to engage them in any way is a really good thing and through the arts I think is the perfect way to do that. It's always lovely when a teacher comes up to you and says that they really enjoyed taking part 
that it was a very well organised event and that they're doing something back at school with the material that they've learned through yourself. That's always lovely because you know that the work's got a legacy after this evening. We spent um, the best part of the last three months working with all the businesses around making sure that they've got all the permissions to be able to put the rope in place. We then physically made the red and white rope that goes right the way around the town. Um, we've undertaken the management of the database of all the stories that come in for all of the tags and then all the print production of everything that goes into those tags. During the course of this week we've been getting that rope right the way around Berwick looking at how it's secured. We had fun with 50 mile an hour winds on Wednesday when we weren't quite sure what we were going to come into on Thursday morning. Nobody slept very well. No, absolutely. <laughs> And she flew down out of the tree and she picked up that frog in her beak and she flew to the roof of a nearby house. I'm telling some stories about greedy fishermen. They are uh, offered gifts by um, magical talking fish, um, but they always want more and some, in some cases that's their undoing. And I'm talking about some of the stories that people have put up on the ropes. I'm talking about some of the visions that children had for the future of Berwick, uh, which includes giant seagulls and people wearing massive hats to protect them against seagull poop. Would you like to hear a story? There's just people taking walks along, following the rope, because you can see it goes along here and then down there. And so people are following it and then stumbling across me where they find some music. And the songs that I am singing, because I live here, the songs that I write, they are mostly, they're all about Berwick or people in Berwick or people or, or places around, around Berwick. I know that from my point of view, I love to hear the old memories that the old people have when they come up with things that they remember about the old industries that are kind of gone now. I like the idea that the rope brings all the memories from a, a whole range of ages. So we've got um, this iPad uh, lookout platform here where with it mounted on it uses GPS and it's an augmented reality app so you turn the iPad around and it the camera shows you the view of Berwick and then within that view it will reveal some media to you. The bi-royal appointment birds patrol the old damp border between former enemies hissing majestic galleons with an almost steampunk secret some of them are the memories that people have uploaded from their memory tags and some are factual historical information about the town. I've had a lot of fun wandering about trying to spot my own little cards and things like that. I think I wrote something about a project that I did with the museum back in 2003. I love medieval history and I claim to be the last person to have besieged Berwick Castle. I made a small but working uh, medieval siege engine. I just love sharing knowledge about Berwick's history to people. And it's been different for me, it's a different route, learning something new myself about this rope industry, which is, shall we say, one of the lesser known industries. Right. I've been doing a series of guided walks around the town uh, through the theme of the roperies of Berwick. It's such a simple thing that has been going on since 25,000 BC, if not before. It's very, very simple. And on these tours, another great thing is I've actually created a rope making machine and I let people have a go at it. That's a little bit closer. Yeah. yeah. I'll let you do this. Now, imagine you've got to do this for the whole length. 
Everywhere's got a unique history, but Berwick's is just that little bit weird. There are so many hidden gems. It's small enough you can get a handle on pretty much everything fairly quickly, but it's big enough you'll never know everything. back years and years and years. It's, it's called, is it the rope tour? I had no idea it was going to cover the, the distance that it did. But here he's done it all, he's encompassed it all. And certainly as regards uh, the manufacturer and the industry with ropes and whatever, I had no idea it existed. The history involved in this small community and small areas, phenomenal. Probably kinder on your hands. Well, it was a real skill, wasn't it? A real craft and we didn't realise that it was in the area. You know, and it brings back old people bringing in their memories, I would think, of the town and things like that. History, art, all sorts of things. I moved here when I was 11, um, 23 now. As far as arts go within the town, there's an abundance and everyone has, has some involvement in it, but it, um, there's not always the opportunities for it to be aired or, or for, for anyone to be paid for it or for anything like that. The town needs things like this so that people can get out and show what they're doing and uh, have somewhere to perform and somewhere to kind of showcase what they've got. We've had some rain earlier on in the morning but then it seemed to calm nicely and the sun's come out and that has drawn the people of Berwick out onto the streets. We've had a nice steady flow of people popping into the, um, the headquarters and now that they're seeing all these uh, story tags hanging on the rope outside, they're very keen to make their contribution. November Club and Culture Creative jointly have wanted to work in Berwick for quite some time. It's taken a long time to get to where we are today with this project. Um, so for us it's usually satisfying to see that actually people not only just value the, the, all our hard work but more importantly find it interesting, want to take part. People's interest now has probably got to the top of the peak, you know, that it's really peaked today. Um, so it's nice to be able to say we're open tomorrow. We've been running the rope games down on the quayside here. So we've got tightrope walking, hoopla, skipping, bowling, all, all kinds of different things. I think the most popular is the hooker rope, um, totally homemade and unique game. And I think that's partly reflective of what this project is about. Well, first of all, we've been playing with the hoopla. Then we've also had to go tight at skipping. Tight what did you enjoy? Um, probably the tightrope or the bowling. But just really fantastic just to walk along, not expecting to see any of this today. Um, all you know, the guys came straight over to involve us and ask us about what we'd like to do. Uh, my wife uh, had heard about it, so uh, I just thought I'd come in and see what was what the story was about the, the history and such like. Well, it gets us out of the house um, in this nice uh, autumn morning, so it gives us an enjoyable day out. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I just came in and I started like, looking at the rope and I decided that I'd just wrap the rope around and then I just went from there. She's very talented. 
right. I also um, put a lot of jewels on it, and um, I've not finished yet, but yeah. Amazing names. We've got like somebody. I like our little camp by the by the river, watching the seals. It's very nice. It's a very nice way to spend your weekend. Oh, Do you want to put a handle on it so it can be a handbag fish? No, no, it's fine. Wow. Because the because of the event it was kind of a lot about to do with memories. It's been nice for people to come back and and the dads have been sort of telling the kids stories about stuff. So that's really nice because it gives people the chance to sort of it's bonding in it for families and that's really nice. The unusual thing is that I mean I've got quite a repertoire, but I've never actually had a story with rope in it. And I thought if it's a rope event, I must find some rope stories. So I've had a lot of fun this week doing some research. By telling the story of rope, you're actually helping to tell the story of Berwick's heritage. And I think that's very good. We've got blood knots um, that fishermen have shown us. Um, we've got the sheep shank knots that rock climbers have shown us. A little cub came in today and he showed us a square lashing. Everybody's able to add a piece of rope and a knot on in any way at any point they like and I think in a kind of very random way it's very lovely. Oh, I, love I love meeting people and kind of helping people to, to learn but also to listen like each knot has has been devised for a specific reason and the person who's brought it in here has a particular story about how they learned that knot, why they learned that knot. I just think that's great to share all that knowledge. There's a lot of hard work and thought that goes into these projects and months of planning that uh, ride up to the actual event and you're never quite sure what, what you're going to get until it actually happens. It's brought in visitors and audiences who wouldn't have perhaps known about Berwick 900 in the same way. I think it's causing people to reflect very differently on uh, the town and uh, its uh, local environment. So I think, yeah, it's been a success in a, in a word. The rope is about to start coming down at the quayside and everybody that's still around is going to congregate outside the guild hall for a photograph. There's groups and organisations and people in Berwick that we would really, really like to work with again. And I think all that work in the lead into this event has been shown on the streets of Berwick. This project hasn't been necessarily just about arts, it's been very much about their stories, their memories, their issues, their concerns, and them having a voice. It's just fantastic that it's so centralised within the community and it's kind of drawing people in who just happen to be going about their everyday business. It's not like a lot of community projects where you have to set aside time and a place and go off somewhere, which to me seems to defeat the whole purpose. It feels as though it's such a, it's taken the centre of Berwick and made it into a celebration of its own history. My work will continue hopefully with the schools and it will definitely continue with the commission and the rope will be given to people that have been involved in making it. Big smiles towards me. Uh, this rope, entwining, a kist of stories, a clay of dreams, from long since to the now, an umbilical of time binding the then to the still to come. This rope enfolds the town in memories and hope, divides the town to in by and out by. This rope is Barley Town, the bear and the willow, Berwicki super tweedum, Berwick upon tweed, Berwick the stell, the beeld. This rope winding up and doing the passages. Look into a future of skyscrapers and theme parks, a Primark KFC and nicer bars. There are whispers in the eaves for underwater houses and non-polluting cars. Another 50 generations hence, nine centuries and more. There's a wish for a cleaner, more prosperous town and a better time in store. Now the rope 
At midnight, it waits quietly, wished, and you'll hear the tags stir, become restless, as dreams and hopes and memories will in the watches of the night. Your memories, your dreams, your hope, your rope. <laughs>